One of the neatest functionalities uh, that's outside of litigation for AI.law is the ability to make a contract. This is very different than what other companies uh, on the market provide from a contract drafting standpoint. This is not a compare one provision to another uh, kind of software kind of functionality. This is let's create the entire thing from scratch for you with a easy to understand back and forth conversation with AI before we generate the whole thing and then give you the ability to edit any section of it using AI um, afterwards. So I selected, for example, one of the, one of the th uh, what, what I selected was independent contractor agreement with specific goals, with jurisdiction, the, all these questions, you can answer these, there'll be a conversation back and forth, and you'll be able to create a, a contract. I already have some of these done, so what I'm going to do is, under my history, show you what this looks like from a uh, drafting standpoint. So, for example, uh, in this example, I asked for the sale of a uh, contract for the sale of land. That is not within these sections. So what you, what I did with this is I went down here to my, my bar and I said um, contract uh, for the sale of the commercial land. Okay, and then I clicked enter, and then it's going to we're going to talk about this particular thing. It's going to ask you. because this chat functionality is here, you can create just about any kind of contract that exists in the United States with our system. It could be a sale of uh, land, it could be a dissolution agreement, trust agreements, um, it, it'll ask you for your jurisdiction, and so you, you can be specific on your jurisdiction as it's drafting, but it will handle just about any kind of contract that there is. When I tell people with the drafting here, after you're finished drafting, and then you'll have it in your history, and you can go back and see what you what you did. So this one, I said sales contract for the sale of vacant land for development, and then great, we're starting. This is our conversation. It's asked me jurisdiction. I indicate this is our uh, our fake situation where a buyer buys land from a seller, and there was a bunch of chemical um, issues, a chemical spill on it, and requiring massive cleanup, and um, and this was, but before we got to that point, we were just at the point where there was an actual sale of the land, and I wanted to create that actual sales agreement so I could use it for the other uh, examples I was using, and this is how I created it. So I went in and I said, okay, Cook County, um, can you identify the parties? And then I provided the parties, a little bit of information about the parcel, and there you go uh, with that information. Can you provide a detail? Uh, thank you for providing the details. And then next is asking particular provisions. So what we're gonna do specifically is we're going to ask you things that are specific to this type of contract. Environmental liability, zoning laws, due diligence, closing date, contingencies. It's going to prompt you with things that would be normally be seen with this type of contract and then allow you to enter those in. So you have a long list, you just enter a long list. Here I just use an example, so mine's uh, about a line, a line long. Once that's done, and lastly, it's going to validate any other information you want. Here's, again, prompting you financial terms, penalties, first refusal, the things that you might see for this type of contract. And then I add some additional information. It's going to validate with me. It's going to ask it correct. I'll say yes, correct. And it's like, great, excellent. Go ahead and draft. There's a button that says draft. Here, this is already done. So you just go right here to edit. Click on that. And here is your entire contract drafted by AI, 30 different paragraphs that are relevant, not only to this type of agreement, but also that contain the information you requested within the chat functionality from due diligence to financing. And what it's going to do for each one of these 30 different paragraphs it is going to use stand language that and, and terms that you'd standardly expect or you'd expect to see within this type of agreement normally. If you want to change things, you can do so by just typing them in. That will immediately change them. You can also request a uh, change through AI to rewrite the whole paragraph for you. So um, this is agreement is contingent upon buyer obtaining commitment financing. Let's change this to say, uh, change to reflect no contingencies for any of these things. 
and AI will redraft it for you, not contingent upon knowledge is obligation, you're not subject to financing terms. So if you like that, you can keep it, you can retry it, or you can revert it. Let's just keep this one, I like that, uh, that one. And you'll go through each one of these sections. Now let's say there's something else that you want to add, that you don't see a provision here, you can click on the middle line, add new provision. This is in between each and individual, each section, and then tell it what you want. So an example I like to say is, no Martians from Jupiter or out of space can uh, participate in the financing. What it's going to do then is give you an entire paragraph that deals with that very specific things. So, there you go. Non-terrestrial entities, parties lacking legal capacity, recognition of the laws of the United States state of Illinois, Martian or extraterrestrial life. You get the idea, right? You can add all that in. 30 different paragraphs here. We're going to go down to the bottom after you reviewed it, and you can download the document. For the vast majority of contracts that you need done, this is going to do a 95 plus percent job for you. If you are an expert in um, some particular aspect of this contract and you really like A, B, or C to be included within it, uh, you're probably going to need to add it, add it in. Um, but for a, a minute long wait, to get 11 page uh, paragraph, 11 page, 30 paragraph agreement that is specific to yours. This is a whole lot faster than even pulling up an old template and trying to work from that based on what the new information you have is. So this is a great start, but like I said, if you're a, a, a very deep contract you know, expert on something and your normal contracts are 40 or 50 pages long, um, you're, you're, uh, you're probably going to be adding some things to what this is, but if you need 95% um, uh, of, of what people can, would suffice for contracts, uh, you'll find this is incredibly useful. Certainly a lot better than going to a chat and asking, you know, for a, and getting a one or two page that might contain some things or not and not be as customize as this document is. So this is drafting a contract, very helpful, uh, especially if you're if you're gonna hunt down templates to figure something out, come here instead, have our system do it, and uh, save yourself a whole lot of time. Again, a couple minutes and you get the whole thing done for you.